looking good, but more importantly, feeling good. Local hairstylists say the two go hand in hand, and today over 30 kids got pampered headed into their second week of school. Action News 5's Sydney Gray went to the salon helping kids look good ahead of a new school week. From braids to blowouts to twists and everything in between, it was all about the students at Hair Angel Love Salon Studio. We listen to our family and friends, so we know what the need is, and we just try to feel that. For five years, Angela Castor has partnered with local nonprofits, other salons, and stylists, along with local agencies to provide free hairstyling, manicures, school supplies, even life coaching to students of all ages. It's just a blessing to me because I'm you know, I don't have to buy anything. I, she's basically prepared, <laughs> basically got everything on her school supply list. So I'm so ecstatic about that. Marlita Pink's daughter attended the annual back to school salon day celebration and is thankful for those who made it happen. When you're able to have um, the finances and you're able to give back to someone that you should be able to do that. Um, because a blessing comes behind all of that. A message echoed by stylist Adrian Hughes. She's partnered with Caster to host the event for years and wants her clients to know this. It's nothing wrong with giving back. It's nothing wrong for doing things for free and to give people your time. Hughes is a former teacher and says when kids feel good about themselves, they perform better in the classroom. It's something about self-esteem. We want them to look good when they go to school. Because if you don't look good and you don't feel good, you're not going to do well in school. But it wasn't all about appearance. A life coach was there giving kids the tools needed for a successful school year. We wanted to blend them both together. Not only help them to look good on the outside, but even if you don't get your hair done, your, your hairstyle may last a week. That confidence that you need to carry on through the school year, let's work on that too. From hairstyling to manicures and some fun on the dance floor in between, it was a day filled with empowering the next generation. Let's work on loving yourself regardless. If your curls are loose, if your curls are tight, we're going to love ourselves and we're going to pass it on and be able to encourage another child. Sydney Gray, Action News 5.